An update to a story we've been tracking for you for days on Eyewitness News Saturday. We told you how two wound socket school buildings were treated for bed bugs this weekend. Well, tonight we hear from a concerned parent who spoke with Eyewitness News reporter Julianne Lima. She joins us now with the latest developments. The parent tells me they're happy the school is taking action, but they wish they had been notified back in January as soon as the bed bugs incident happened. Woonsocket High School and the attached Woonsocket Area Career and Technical Center treated by pest control Saturday. He just was telling me about the bed bugs. And Eyewitness News spoke to one concerned parent who asked that we not show her face and alter her voice. A lot of us kept our children home um, when we found out. Woonsocket Superintendent Patrick McKee sent this letter to parents via email. It discussed what he called an isolated case of bed bugs that was reported to the high school nurse on January 29th. But the email was sent to parents on February February 7th, more than one week after the incident happened. What gets me is uh, you have lice, they notify you when children have lice and, you know, just to protect, they don't say who it is and that's understandable, but they send a letter out. I was a little disappointed that we didn't receive a letter, you know, just giving us a heads up at least. Instead, we all found out this way and now it's just chaos. In the memo, McKee says there's not, nor has there been, a bed bugs infestation. He says after the January incident, the custodial staff follow the district's pest management and control procedures thoroughly, treating the affected rooms on the evening of the reported incident. Again, that memo was sent Wednesday. In a follow-up memo two days later on Friday, McKee said a bed bug was found in a classroom on Thursday and two students were seen by the nurse. McKee went on to say that out of an abundance of caution, school leaders decided to have the high school and career and technical center professionally treated by pest control. We could not reach anyone with the school district for comment over the weekend. I'm Julianne Lima, Eyewitness News.